How's it going guys? Today I'm going to show you how to run Windows XP through VirtualBox. A couple things you'll need. Uh, first you'll obviously need VirtualBox itself and you'll also need Windows XP Professional. Uh, this is the Service Pack 3 and all the keys are already activated and installed so you don't need to worry about that. And then of course you'll need uTorrent or any other torrent client that works for you. I just prefer uTorrent. Uh, once you've got everything you need you can set up and install uh, VirtualBox and you'll be presented with this screen after everything's complete and you just want to select the new tab I'm just going to call this one Windows XP make sure it's uh, Microsoft uh, Windows and the version that you're running so if you're running anything else you just select it if you're running Windows 8 you would hit Windows 8 or 8.1 obviously once you've got everything set up correctly just hit next Oh, telling me that I already have Windows XP in a parent folder, so I have to create a new name. I'm going to do Windows XP with a dash. There we go. Memory size, so this is where you get to pick the RAM that you want this machine to have. Um, in every gigabyte, there's a thousand megabytes, so I'm just going to set it to 2,000, which would be two gigabytes, and I'm not even going to use this machine, so it doesn't matter. You probably want to give yourself upwards of that, though, because two gigabytes isn't really a lot create a virtual hard drive now yep click create VDI yep select that dynamically allocated hit next again now you get to pick your um, file location and your size I'm going to keep it at 10 gigabytes because again I'm not going to be using this one but 10 20 would would be more than sufficient and there we go we've created a Windows XP so now what we want to do is we want to click the start button and then click start again it'll give you an error telling you that it can't find anything to boot from so we want to click devices CD slash DVD devices then we want to click choose a virtual CD DVD disk file and there she is right there if you don't already have yours presented you'd have to track it down it would probably be in your downloads now I'm gonna click open I'm gonna to go to machine and I'm going to reset get rid of this annoying error or not error but message and now it's greeting me with the Windows setup so this is going to take a couple of minutes and I will pause this because it's, again it'll take a while I don't want you guys to sit through this and watch it also I will pause it and come back to you guys in just a moment when everything's complete so I've just uh, finishing up the last part of the Windows XP installation process I just gave myself a username and a password it loaded some settings and now it looks like we're getting ready to launch the desktop here after this brief setup and I apologize for the music I'll turn that off in just a moment um, I can't help it it's running through Windows XP but you just want to go next click help protect my PC and then click next create a user account I'm just going to call mine Carson and there we go the awful music ends and we get to hear that music So it should take just a couple more seconds and then once we get to the desktop then we're pretty much good to go. You've successfully installed Windows XP through Oracle and um, you're good to go. But there is one thing I'm going to show you. If you're interested in running this in full screen you will have to do something because you'll notice if we expand on this there's still a lot of space that isn't being utilized. And in order to fix this we need to go to devices and click insert guest edition CD image. Uh, click next, click next again, and then click install and give it a few seconds. And now click reboot now. So again, it will reboot. should go full screen automatically and now you have a full screen version of Windows XP running through VirtualBox so that has been a very quick tutorial showing you how to set it up if you have any questions or anything like that don't hesitate to leave a comment I will get back to you otherwise good luck and thanks for watching